I can't believe how many people are stupid enough to buy government bonds. Why can't they see this is the bursting point of the biggest bubble in the history of the world? The Fed is printing money like crazy. Now we have QE2. All of that money will surely drive the economy to new heights. By stimulating the economy soon everyone will want to start a new business and they will need to borrow money for that. All of that demand for loans will push interest rates through the roof. When that happens everyone who owns bonds will spontaneously combust and die a horrible screaming death. A year from now the yield on the five-year bond could be at 16%. Do you know what that will do to the price of your bonds? It means a bonds now selling at 102 will go negative. You will have to pay someone $20 to buy it from you. Your loss will be over 120%. So I should own stocks instead of bonds because bonds have too much risk? I don't suppose that any of that money printing and QE2 you've been talking about could be responsible for the stock market's recent rise to valuation levels that are historically high despite a disappointingly slow economic recovery. From where I stand, stocks look more like the bubble. You are just a stupid little girl. Everyone knows that stocks have better returns than bonds over any period. With bonds you only get paid what the interest rate is. Now interest rates are so low. Do you really only want to make 2.7% for 10 years? I guess you must have been in rehab for the last 10 years. All of those quaaludes finally put you in the loony bin. Now that you're out you must realize that the stock market is lower than it was what you went in. That's no return at all for 10 years and there have been two market crashes while you were away that took 50% off the value of stocks in that time. Lehman Brothers and Bear Stearns went bankrupt. GE cut their dividend and now trade at $16. It used to be worth more than 40. My government bonds may not pay much interest, but they are liquid and more secure than any stock. Also, I think you are wrong about the direction interest rates will take. What kind of crack do you have to smoke to think the five-year note will yield 16% a year from now? The good kind. I think that you are blind to both the world around you and to the history of interest rates. There have been several decades in the past 100 years where long term interest rates have held below 2% for 10 years. The prospects for deflation are still very high as credit contracts and the average American realizes that they do not need to take on more debt. They know that banks have cajoled them to borrowing beyond their means to buy useless crap like iPhones and 98 inch plasma televisions. Not only do they not want to borrow anymore, they cannot afford to. Almost 20% are out of work or have dropped out of the workforce. Their homes and 401k plans are underwater. They will be lucky not to get foreclosed on and thrown out of their homes. The Fed could make $100 trillion out of thin air and give it to the banks. Average people will not borrow it. The banks will have to give it away for free or else they will keep it and trade in their own accounts creating nothing but overly volatile financial markets. Stocks may rise for a time, but sooner or later they will crash again. That is where the bubble is. There is nothing supporting stock prices, except the made-up money the Fed prints. There are no potential buyers to hold things up when the banks decide to take their profits. Since it wasn't their money in the first place and they know the government will bail them out of their losses they will let the market crash. We have already had two once-in-a-lifetime market crashes in the last 10 years. That means there won't be another one for two more lifetimes. We should only own stocks for sure. Someone as young as you has plenty of time for the markets to recover. If stocks do drop again that is okay. They will go back up by the time you retire. I have already retired. When the yield on the 10-year bond dropped from over 5% in 2007 to 2% in 2009 I made so much money on bonds that I no longer have to work. Did I mention I also shorted financial stocks and home builders? I did all of this with my multi-million dollar inheritance and now I have over a billion dollars. How did you do with your stocks? I, I, I. If I were you, I would keep my mouth shut about the bond market as you clearly do not understand how it works. The same goes for the stock market. I'm going to go shoot myself now.